What's up, everybody? This is Hamish from Puppet Sports, and today we're going to be looking at a little bit of a how to play video, a very short run through of Pocket Sports Baseball. And I've decided to do this video for the good folks over on the Tabletop Sports Forum, whom have had to put up with me posting videos on rugby and cricket and uh, all sorts of uh, non-traditional North American sports but baseball seems to be a very popular uh, uh, tabletop uh, simulation sport over there so I thought I'd just give them a just a brief taste a little hors d'oeuvre a canapé of pocket sports baseball and you can see here on my very messy desktop is uh, uh, th is pocket sports baseball. What am I trying to say? This is it. Seven dice, uh, nice little dice pouch there, coloured to the plate of the uh, to the uh, colour of the dirt or or baseball-y, ground earthy tones there, and a bag of tokens to represent your team and the special abilities uh, that they have. But without much further ado, we're going to jump to a video that I recorded earlier. The sound quality um, isn't quite as good as this, but I'm sure that you can just turn up that volume and enjoy a little piece of Pocket Sports Baseball. Okay, let's have a look at Pocket Sports Baseball, everybody, and I will try and get through this quickly. I can't go through the whole nine innings because uh, that will take some time. So let me just explain here. So I've opened up the game. It's come out of its nice little uh, dice pouch here and inside the game. We have seven dice, two more over here. And let me just run through this. This little printout here is available on the website. You can just print those off, uh, play, write on them, do as uh, what you like. If you've got a color printer, this comes out in color. Uh, my black and white printer didn't work here. So I've got the dice for each position uh, sitting above so we can uh, keep track as we play through that. So the red die is the, uh, the pitching die. And just basically there's one chance of the pitcher throwing a strike there's one chance of him throwing a ball and the other four are just regular pitches a fastball slider change up and curve ball now after the pitcher rolls the batter will have a choice of uh, trying to hit to the infield or hit to the outfield so to break it down there's a it's a risk versus reward here uh, there's a little bit more uh, safety in uh, hitting to the infield there's a hit grounded a uh, hit a hit a bunt line drive there's a foul ball there's a strike obviously swinging and missing and there is a ball and on the uh, outfield die uh, there's two chances of getting a strike uh, there's also a line drive to the infield there's a foul ball but then there's two chances of getting those big hits to the outfield which may lead to a home run now depending on what the batter hits if it's the infield then the fielding team will be rolling the brown infield fielder's die, okay? There could be a chance that they make an error. They can pick it up and throw with a chance of a double play if they succeed on the first time. It could just be a single hit to the uh, to the batting team, uh, throw any base, and there's a catch, obviously one out, and there's a chance of a double play there, throw it quickly to another base for a runner, and there's a ground out first, okay? That's the infield and the outfield. Obviously, there's a double uh, while the uh, fielder tries to uh, regather the ball. There's a catch. There's a home run. So again, as I said before, the only way you can get a homer is a big hit or a deep hit to the outfield and it sails over the head and over the fence. There's a catch throw, double play. Uh, there's a throw to third, which means you can only throw to third. And obviously, a throw to second, which stipulates you can only throw to second. All right. The last two die are the black and white die, and we refer to those as legs and arms. Now, how do we resolve running from uh, from base to base? We do this by having a roll-off uh, between the black and white die. Uh, on each of these, it has a little pocket sports symbol, and that just means a one, or basically the lowest number, and then it goes all the way up to six. So in this case here, now if there's been a hit, and we are running, contesting um, the arms of the fielders versus the legs running speed of the uh, batting team, then we will have a roll off and in this case it's a two versus one and the arms of the fielders threw the ball in faster than the runner could reach so is out got it very good let's try and roll through a couple of pitches here and uh, see how that goes the other thing i should mention here 
excuse me, are the team tokens. Now, each team has six tokens. You have three pinch hitters that you can bring in at any stage. If you're playing uh, five innings or nine innings, it's a very long game, so you can choose throughout, uh, throughout the game when you wish to bring in the hitter. Basically, this means, as I said before, the only way to hit to the outfield are these two options on the blue die. However, by using this uh, pinch hitter here, he's got a bit of extra muscle and any hit, any hit, whether it says to the infield, that just means it's gone to the outfield, okay? So any hit is a big hit uh, for the pinch hitter. You've got three of those. Uh, there's also the pitcher, relief pitcher, that you can bring on, pop him on the mound and say, uh, this guy has one extra pitch up his sleeve that will be an automatic strike. So there's already one on here. However, when you're using your relief pitcher, he gets an extra one, but you need to nominate which one. You need to say, okay, this guy's uh, specially pitches the change up. Then if he does roll that, that is also the same as a strike. Okay, likewise, we've got two others. One for arms, plus one. This gives your fielding team for the duration of one innings only, you might say in the fifth innings, all right, I need to uh, prevent any score here. So I'm gonna load up my uh, my gun feelers, pop them out, and they get plus one to any rolls of the black die. Likewise, two with the legs, if I was batting, I can say, right, I'm gonna put all, all my speedsters on. So when they're running from base to base, uh, they're getting plus one. So you could, you could have the scenario where uh, I'm using plus one on the legs, and over here the Panthers could be using plus one on their arms. Um, it's probably the bottom one. That's a hitter. Anyway, you know what I mean. So they could be offsetting each other there. That can happen, that can happen. All right, so let's uh, try and roll through a couple of uh, uh, quick innings here, and we're gonna put the uh, Warriors in. Uh, we can track the balls and strikes here for the pitchers, etc. You can get crazy, fill out all this. And over here, the Panthers will be tracking their outs uh, and obviously filling in with a pen and paper, uh, pen or pencil later on once you score any runs. Okay, uh, let's get right into it. So the Warriors are up. Let's put someone on, on the mound there and the Warriors are pitching. All right, it's a curved ball. So I'm going to try and take things gently here, try and hit to the infield, try and steal a base. It's a foul ball. Counts as a strike. There we go. Rinse and repeat. Pitch again. Curve ball. Let's do that again. Keep it nice and simple. That's a strike. Great start. Nice start for the Warriors pitching a slider. Mm, let's try and roll. Let's try and get big. Okay, it's a foul ball. Already on two strikes. Can't do anything more. Okay, curve ball. We'll hit to the infield. Foul ball again. Bit of nerves. Bit of nerves. That's a slider. Right, we've got a hit. Grounder to the infield. So the Warriors now will roll their infield uh, uh, fielder and great catch. All right, so that's an out. Pop one over here. Uh, we move him off and the next guy comes in. We reset everything and pop the dice back there and we start again. One out for no score. And that's a fast ball. Let's try and hit big here. That's a strike, okay, that's not very good, but expected, okay, there's a change up. We'll try and play a bit soft, there's a foul ball, all right, so not a good day for the Panthers so far. Curve ball, hit, grounder, infield, here comes the infield, it's a throw. Now, here we go, so he's running to first base. Infield has grabbed it, he's thrown to first base now. We need to have a competition between arms versus legs. Okay, and in this case, the arm value was one, the legs value was three, this is higher, they win the contest, meaning he's on first base there. Okay, nice and simple. Away we go, rinse and repeat, we'll leave the outs over there. Oops, and that's a change up for the pitch. We'll try and just get some people on base here. So that's a hit, that's a line drive. And that's ground out first, okay? However, this guy immediately advances there. And two outs, one on second. Let's go again. Warriors now, it's a slider. 
All right, let's go. Let's be brave. That's a strike. Okay, pitch again. That's a ball. Away we go. And that's a strike. Nice. Could be a clean sweep here. Wooshka. And it is. Three outs, no runs. It's a change over. All right, guys, I'll finish up there. Thanks very much for watching. If you've liked the game, head on over to pocketsports.com.au. You can check it out. And I'd appreciate if you could click like for the video and also subscribe to the channel. And until next time, please keep on watching uh, the Designer Diary uh, process. All right, guys, until next time, bye for now.